Hey guys, so I'm back to do a really quick um, dollar store homeschool haul. I have a couple other things that aren't really pertaining to homeschool, but mainly the bulk of it is for homeschool. So let's get started. First thing I got were these little fossil finder eggs. I've never seen these at the dollar store. The other ones we got were mummies, and the girls really liked them. Um, I actually like these a lot because it's already kind of coming apart. And so if you're used to working with these, these are really hard for the kids to break. Um, it, it Sometimes it takes my kids days to get what they're looking for. And these are the different ones that you can find. So I bought four of these just because my kids really, really like these. Um, they've been doing it all morning long, to be honest with you, as we speak. Then I bought each girl a shirt to decorate. This is going to be their um, like paint shirt, I think when we're doing like painting or anything like super messy outside or with mud. So this one is for, I think, Bella or Violet. I bought them both the same size, the extra small. And then I got a purple one for Lily. And at my dollar store, it seemed like each color had a different size. So you can't get like all the same color, unfortunately, unless your kids are the same size. So I got those. Then I got this little a tablet for Violet. It's going to be her diary. Lily has a diary, so she needs a diary, um, according to her. Those are just more of the eggs. And then also I bought fabric paint. I bought two packs of these for their shirts. Then we have some cool color sand. So, you know, you guys remember this from when you were kids. You just take the funnel and put different colors and make a design or mix it up. Fun little summer activity for us to do. Another egg. My husband bought some light bulbs. These light bulbs are great. They're um, energy saving. And if you like go to a regular store, these can be anywhere from like 7 to $10. Um, so with this pack, you get four. So he bought three boxes of these. Because we have that many lights. Our chandelier, a lot, well, I don't think they use these lights. But we have other light fixtures that each one takes like four. So that won't last very long in this house. The next thing I bought was some uh, white pearl erasers. So we just needed more erasers. These are from Papermate. So um, nice deal on that. Soap. We just got the soft soap. We've got a refill bottle and then also just um, one with the pump for the bathroom. Been needing that for a couple of days now. Another egg. <laughs> I bought four of them. Then also, this is not um, homeschool related, but we recently, for the last few months, have been buying our little... Um, USB cords at the dollar store, you know, for like your phone charger if you have like a smartphone. Um, not if you have, I think, the the iPhone. I don't think these work on the iPhone, but they work on all the other Android. These work pretty good. You definitely get your money's worth with these. Um, they last anywhere from a week to a few months. Just depends on, you know, how it is. But I think it's a way better deal than going to like Five Below or walmart target or even your phone carrier place like it's way cheaper so as long as you have like the actual plug-in part and buy one of these you're good to go so we bought two of those bought this really big magnifying glass i thought this would be really fun um the girls are talking about they want to be detectives and spies and stuff because they're listening to if you can't hear it in the background um is it Nancy? I think it's listening to, oh, Harriet Spy, not Nancy Drew. Harriet Spy, so I got that for them. I have a couple activities that I'm thinking we can do with this. That would be fun. The other sand kit. Um, just some toothpaste for the girls. They are all out. Um, I like to give Bella the Toms. I need to remember to get that when I'm at Target. I got some color popsicle sticks just for crabs. I don't have um, any direction right now, but I saw it. I'm like, I'm sure I can think of something since we do, um, you know, two crafts, two to three crafts a day. Then we have the eraser toppers. 
my girls are um they're they're into decorating so they like to decorate their pencils and they love um stationary stuff so i got that just for a novelty item we don't really need it but they you know they'll like it more of the fabric paint also i didn't really care for the colors so i plan on mixing some of the colors and adding some white and some other colors to make some different colors out of the ones that i did get and some sparkles so i might do a video on that then they have this which is a really good deal it's like dough cookie cutters these are so expensive um in the stores like they can be really anywhere from like 10 to 20 dollars so i was really excited to get that all my girls play with play-doh even my one-year-old um i just have to watch her really good that she doesn't eat it because she when she gets bored she'll start to eat it but um it's good for like filling and the textures and things so oh look at scissors too that's cute so i got that <clears throat> then i've never used one of these like and it's not a big deal but it's one of the um apple core like you know you take it and it cuts the apple for you i saw it in a video this weekend i was like i need that instead of cutting up the apples so i plan on using this in like another hour for lunch bought bella some toothbrushes i bought the other girls they had battery operated monster uh, two brushes. I bought that for the girls. So this is Bella's. Then I bought some little dinosaurs because we we're doing dinosaur week. And I bought these as well. The last thing I bought were these pencils that the girls picked out. Again, a novelty item, not something we need, but they wanted it. So I think in total I spent like $35 and some change, um, but that's all that I have. And I'll see you guys later.